The Boolean satisfiability problem, which is abbreviated by SAT, is a decision problem where the input is a Boolean formula. And the question is, can the variables in the given Boolean formula be assigned the values true or false such that the formula evaluates to true? The Cook-Levin theorem, named after Stephen Cook and Leonid Levin, states that the SAT problem is NP-complete. In fact, the SAT problem is the first problem proven to be NP-complete. The three SAT problem is a restricted version of the SAT problem. First, let's introduce some definitions. A literal is a variable or its negation, and a clause is a disjunction of literals. The input formula for the three SAT problem must be in conjunctive normal form, meaning that it is a conjunction of clauses, and each clause must have exactly three literals. Clearly, the three SAT problem is an NP since if given a proposed assignment of variables, we can check if it satisfies all clauses in polynomial time. To prove it is NP complete, we just have to show that it is NP hard, and this can be done by a reduction from the SAT problem to the three SAT problem. Given an SAT formula F, we want to construct a three SAT formula F prime such that F is satisfiable if and only if F prime is satisfiable. And F prime can be constructed from F in polynomial time relative to the size of F. The idea is to replace a clause of length not equal to three with several clauses of length, exactly three, by using logical equivalences. Once we know that the three SAT problem is NP-complete, we can use it to show that many other problems are also NP-complete. 